Hey there, cats and kittens. This week's comic book of the week is Alpha Flight One, a Marvel comic. It's written by Greg Pak and Fred Valente, with art by Ben Oliver and Dan Green. Now, Alpha Flight was a team created during the classic run of John Byrne and Chris Claremont in the late 70s, nearly 80s. Now, this is a Canadian-based super team and they were created pretty much, uh, as I've seen from interviews, to survive a fight with the X-Men. But later, they turned out to be so much more than that and such intriguing characters that John Byrne was the writer and penciler of, their, of a book with them um, in the 1980s. He left the book and after lots of fits and starts, it never really kind of gained its footing and they tried to relaunch the book on more than one occasion, but really the classic team of Sasquatch, super strong, uh, menacing monster, and the super fast, uh, flying characters of North Star and Aurora and North Star is noticeable because he's one of Marvel's openly gay characters and of course you have the husband and wife team of Vindicator and Guardian who both use super suits uh, whose color scheme is based on the Canadian flag and they're kind of like Iron Man but with less offensive capabilities but still like I said a really cool looking suit also you have the mystic uh, Native American, uh, Michael Two Young Men, aka Shaman, uh, who does magic, sorcery, and you have the uh, water controlling aquatic character, um, Marina, who came from outer space, an extraterrestrial, but a very pretty extraterrestrial. Now, in this issue, they kind of do a commentary on American politics, where right now there's kind of a lot of friction between the right and the left and a mysterious new party, the Unity Party, which is drawing a lot of attention because uh, they're claiming that it's anti-Canadian and that it's doing things which are both um, nefarious and criminal. And so while the Alpha Flight team does battle um, some super menaces, including one based uh, with um, one of its former members, um, who's now the Purple Woman, um, it's more of the story, the mystery behind this new party. Now, the art is very kinetic and it flows very nice. It's very good. But mostly, it's about the mystery of this uh, Unity Party and what they're going to do. Am I glad to see the original team back? Yes, I am. It's a fun read and I'm looking to, for, to future issues of this new relaunch. And I hope it does well because, again, this just has a lot of intriguing characters and I wish the team well. All right, guys, I think that's all for now. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll be talking to you very soon. Bye.